What is up, YouTube? Max Dunner here, and I'm finally bringing you a brand new episode of Let's Play Deuces X Human Revolution. In the last episode, um, we found out that I think her name was Me um, yeah, Megan, that she's actually alive. So, without further ado, let's get story started. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Morgan. I think her name was Megan. Anyways, yeah, it's been a long time since I've last played. Um, since the last episode, I have moved, so if I sound a little bit different, that might be the reason, or it could be because I kind of have a cold. So, hopefully in this episode, we can make some good progress. So, how have you guys been? I hope you guys have been doing good. Uh, for me, I've been doing pretty good. Ah, uh, you can't go this way. This is a no go. This reminds me of the beginning of the game. Let's see, where do we have to go? Well, how do we shut down? Electricity. That's a better question. How do we shut down electricity? Oh, maybe we go down this way. Nope. Huh. Already getting lost when we just started. I don't feel like the longest I've said we've we had to be getting close to the end of the game. Now I believe that we really are getting close to the end because I mean, I mean, it wouldn't make sense if we found out she was alive. But to be honest, I thought he was just being um, in denial. I thought she was dead a long time ago. So, and I was just going down, this, going in circles, but I have no idea what happened. Which kind of makes me think we have to actually go. Oh, maybe we can go through them doors. Oh man, if we can actually go through them doors, I'm actually going to feel like a dumbass. Seriously. Man, it's been so long. I don't even know how, how you. Oops. Damn it. I didn't want to do that. Oh, come on. There has to be a way in there. Can we shoot the... Yeah, I have no idea. Let's just try. I know we're going to die if we try this, but I have no idea. Oh wow. I think I can just do that. Either there has to either there's a way. Damn it, I did not want to do that. Don't do that. Wow, that didn't kill us? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man, I swear. Really? Yeah, I gotta remember to put a warning. Because if anybody has seizures, that is, that is gonna probably not gonna be too good. Yeah, but anyways, I do kind of have a funny story that actually happened to me 
uh, yesterday. Well, it's, it's probably, it might be funny for you, but it's not funny for me. What, what was it yesterday? I'm trying to think. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was um, Tuesday. Anyways, um, I don't remember what I was doing. Um, where I was coming from. Oh, it wasn't worth it. Oh, I remember. I had, um, after I had gone, um, damn it. Anyways, like, um, I had just, well, I just had, it's been a while. I, I got off of work, but then I went to my old place to pick up some stuff. But then on the way back, I, um, I had to use the bathroom. Um, so anyways, um, anyways, before I used the bathroom, my phone actually fell in the toilet. So, um, no, it's in, um, what I did was I, you know, I wiped it off, obviously, and then after that, um, you know, I took the battery out and just left it out, because usually that's, I mean, that's, that's the best thing you can do. Anyway, so, I left it out for probably about, a good maybe two or three Pritchard, Francia's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override them manually. From up in the tower. I got it. Anyway, so like, um... I put it back on. I, um, no, I put the battery back in about like two hours after. <clears throat> but did I get like this? Um, what did I get? I think I got like a... Like a warning sign or something. So I just took it back out and left it for the night. And then when I woke up, it was totally black, nothing. And then, so I just left the battery in the phone. Cause I was like, okay, maybe the, you know, battery had, you know, completely died because um, before my eyes dropped in the toilet, it was, the battery was really low anyway, so I was like, okay. I just put it back in there, and then um, I got the, I think it had like, <clears throat> um, what did it have? Um, it had this, it said, um, it had like a battery, and then it had like a little lightning symbol on it. So I just like left it in there, and it had the, um, cause that was Samsung Galaxy S5, so, um, you know like usually where it says like the battery's low, it has like a little red light, so I just let it charge. And <clears throat> today, so far it's working fine, which is good, cause I'm not gonna lie, I man, I really need my phone, cause it makes everything such a chore, even when I go in the Especially when I go to work, I like I really need my phone just to check to see, you know, if anything like, you know, just for everyday purposes. So, I, 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 so far, I it's working it. fine. Right now, it's just charging. So. Okay, okay, I hear. It. Look, we're gonna go around. <sighs> Headshot. And, um, I wasn't actually going to be, uh, actually I wasn't going to say I wasn't going to record. Um, okay, good, I don't have to, you know, hack this one. Anyways, what is, ah, oh, crap, I keep, I got to stop doing that, I'm wasting ammo. Okay, I guess we got to go back out. Whoa. No, what was I going to say? It was something kind of important. Well, not really important, but kind of important. Now, what was it? Well, I better say, let's do that. Oh yeah, I said I wasn't going to say, I was actually not going to plan on playing today because 
be honest, I'm kind of tired. Cause actually today I had to work early. I had to get up early. It was one of those days I had to be at work early. So I had to get up at like six. Well, but I decided, you know what, I'll just record. Cause I went to Starbucks and I got me some, some stuff I shouldn't have got, so. That should give me some energy. Mm, where are we go? Yeah, we're just going in circles. Oh, do we have to go back in here? Because I know we've been here. But anyways, um, since my last video, I was gonna do some unboxings, but I just kind of, I didn't find, I couldn't find my, um, I couldn't find my card for the, you know, to put the, D, uh, which, um, you know, the USB cable, basically. I couldn't find that, so. I just didn't do it. In my tablet, it, do, it can't record from. It can't record from that side of the view if that makes any sense. Um, but anyways, I did get a new. I got a new quite a new gadgets. I got a new. I got some new speakers. Um, some Logitech ones that I picked up for my job on. Uh, Black Friday. They were really good. They're regular thirty bucks, but I got them for ten. And then I got. Um, <clears throat> I think I got these on Cyber Monday. Uh, either can't remember. It might have been Black Friday. Um, let me say. I just can't remember. I got. Um, this off-brand gaming mouse and keyboard. And um, both of them are pretty good. Um, the, the mouse, they're both, um, what you call it, they're both wired because, I mean, to be honest, I really don't like wireless. Just for the fact that I guess you can go in there. Just for the fact that you always gotta replace the batteries and the batteries seem like they don't last that long, so and the keyboard it has um it has an LED built in, so you can like change the colors. I think that the colors are green, uh, green, blue, Access red, grant. and um, and you can turn it off, which is nice too. So it's a pretty sweet, pretty sweet keyboard. And it also says that it's um, water resistance, but you know, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't, you know, go out of my way and spit, try and spill water on it just to see, oh, if it really is or not. Yeah, I think it was like, it was like almost 30 with um, shipping and all that included. I did like the mouse is like 20 something I think. I have no idea where, we, where I'm going. This place is so confusing. Oh, don't want that guy. I need like an inventory. So 
Oh no, don't jump that. We do that one. I think we can jump that. I think it's safe. Man, where the heck? I'm just like. Looks like we have to. If I have to take a wild guess, which is probably wrong, I have to say we have to head up. This is the right way. I hope. No, we probably, I think I've already been through it. Yeah, crap. Yep, back here. Come on, man. Where do I go? Why do I become so confusing? Access grant. Okay, that was easy. So I was just wondering, has anybody actually played um, Dragon the new Dragon Age Inquisition yet? Yeah. Because I would love to play it, but I just don't have the time right now. I heard it's pretty good, but I don't know. They, that's what, there was like, I, there was people, I mean, that's what they said about the second one, really. Because there was like this, uh, okay, now we're going the right way, I'm pretty sure. Because there was these, um, People were, uh, you know, oh crap, that was fail. Oh man, really? Well, I'm gonna have to do this again. Access denied. Wow, what's in that door? <laughs> but anyways, there was people that were getting paid to on YouTube that were getting getting paid by EA um, to give it a high rate basically so that's why I say, that's why I always tell people that if you're gonna think about getting a game and you don't um, you don't know if you like it or not don't don't take nobody's word for it I don't care who it is um, like seriously, if you think you want to get a game and you want, you're interested, go watch a game play or, um, Access denied. Wow, this one is hard. Never mind. I Man, is there anything? I'm not even gonna. I'm probably not gonna walk. Oh shit! I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, 
Yeah, like I said, that's why I say, um, go watch, like, gameplays and that kind of stuff. Don't say, don't try, I don't care who it is on YouTube. Don't trust, I mean, because, especially because... Oh my goodness, did I really just do that? Yes, I did. But anyways, like I was saying, because like, you know, and plus people like different stuff. I mean, just something I might, not, I might like, you might not, so. Damn, this shit, like, really is... Access denied. What's in this door? Yeah, I mean, there's probably something in the store that we have to get. Because they sure do make it hard to get into. Come on, Percy, I'm afraid. Access granted. Wow. I guess the other times I was just unlucky. Let's see. Is there a faster way? Let's go this way. Oh, I thought I was going to get this one. Oh, it's probably like another one. Yeah, I figured we had to do two. Let's go this way. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Access granted. There we go. Uh, I want to disable. stuff. Well, let me see what I can... Is there anything we can... No. You know what's funny? You know, in any kind of like RPG um, element type game, I've never played um, a persuasive type of character. Thank you. 
Oh my goodness, really? How did I not see that? Oh my goodness, we were still on. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. History has shown us again and again that the human race is hidebound and governed by inertia. As a society, as a species, the only way to elicit any kind of reaction from it is through an act of tragedy, a horrible cataclysm. I regret what I have been forced to do, but given what I know about mankind and the dangers facing us, this was the only viable choice. Man, can I just like throw him out the window?
You've convinced yourself you're right, but whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All your talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. Is that the best argument you can produce? Ethics and morality are as fluid and changeable as any human conceit. I'm disappointed to see you are so naive. History shows us that every measured, reasonable approach to a global problem has failed, mired in apathy and inaction. Taggart would have a sit and debate while people like you continue to radically and fundamentally tear at the fabric of society. You'll never freely give up your augmentations, and your lust for superiority will destroy us all. I don't think it matters. I'm just gonna go through all of People like me? I'm no different than you, Darrow. I'm still a human being, just like all the men and women you're driving insane out there. Step back for just one moment and see it through our eyes. You've convinced yourself you're saving the world, but you're just lashing out in spite. Lashing out in spite? Spare me your pathetic attempts at schoolboy psychology. You do not understand me. No one does. All of this is academic, Mr. Jensen. As long as this technology exists, men like you and me will still crave it, still do anything to have it, despite the cost to our bodies and souls. Well, today, I have set the dominoes falling to change that. I have altered the course of human history for a second time. And this time, it is setting things right. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, we have to... Oh, we have to do this? You can't have the future, so no one can, is that it? Open your eyes, Darrow. Look at what your obsession is doing to the world. When all of this is over, Nothing will be left but anarchy and fear, smoldering in the ashes of burning cities. How can anything be rebuilt from that? No, that's not... that's not what I wanted. There must be something left, some hope of renewal. Because without hope, there is nothing. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining and lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. Wow, really? I was not expecting him to actually give it to us. Well, I think we got a level up, but let's say. You know what? Actually, I think we're going to level up at the end of the episode. I 
Yeah, you because know, all these I really don't care for. Let's just look around, see if there's anything that went in. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing in here. Just a whole bunch of corpses. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. So, if you like this part, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, do all the good stuff. I appreciate it. This is Max Dungeon signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.